Megan here with AM Soaps. Today we're making a very simple soap. It is going to be uh, cool cucumber fragrance oil. Uh, it's less fragrance oil than I hoped to have because this morning I spilled some on the floor. Um, I have a problem with my wrists. I have some carpal tunnel damage from years ago when I worked in a factory. And uh, it's something, it doesn't bother me much, but I tend to sometimes just drop things. Like sometimes my hands just don't function and that's what I did and I dropped uh, cucumber fragrance oil, but I recovered enough to make this soap. So, so it's going to be okay. It didn't all spill, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, so the factory, we were making lamps. Um, but it wasn't a very real, it wasn't a fun factory. It, it wasn't like this factory. It is more like this factory. my life I found a better job. My wrists have slowly gotten better because I'm not doing that work. Now let's look at our temperatures here. I have my lye water I mixed up a couple hours ago. It is now 87 degrees Fahrenheit and my oils are 79 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to color this soap with a little bit of white clay and a little bit of lime green mojito. I just want a very, very light green cucumber soap. And that's it, simple. And it's, they're also going to be flat topped and small. Now this is because my next video will be showing you a project in which I'm going to use this soap. So this is really part A of two, two videos that go together. You're gonna to see me make this soap and then you're going to see me use the soap in another small project. So let's make this soap. Not every soap needs to be super fancy. Sometimes you should just make a simple one too. Empty my my water into my oils. So this is distilled water with the amount of lye that Soap Calc told me to use for my recipe. So I mentioned in another video why I'm holding my stick blender. It has a crack. Um, you can feel the crack. Very, very, very small crack. But that's resulted in it not, it ha it sometimes falls off on me. So it's working fine. I just have to hold it. Okay, let's add our colors first and then the fragrance last. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's right, Bailey. And a little bit of green. That's enough. Just to give us a touch of a light green. Perfect. Exactly that. I'm using my acrylic mold, but I am not using the dividers today. I chose this mold because I don't have to line it, so it saves a step. But most of all, because I really like these straight lines that I get with this mold, and the project I'm doing requires that my soap be have perfectly straight lines. So I'm just going to add my fragrance. Pour, and then we'll unmold this and cut it tomorrow. Because it was quite fluid when I poured it, 
I'm going to have a very nice straight edge here. So I'm actually, I'm going to cut the soaps. This is going to be the length of my soaps. You'll see tomorrow when we return to cut these. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm back now to cut this cucumber soap. I am going to just line it up to the end. There we go. Oof. So here's the little end piece. And they're all going to look the same inside. Very pretty green, which is exactly what I wanted. Now this is actually the top of the soap. But as I was trying to describe, the soap is meant to be this shape. So that is now the side. So these are for a project that I will show you tomorrow. I know you're going to be excited and in anticipation all night wondering what is the project and I hope you don't lose sleep. Of course, if you're watching in the archives, you can always just check the next video in the playlist. But as for those of you watching the day I post this, I'll see you tomorrow when I show you why I made this soap this size and with such a simple design. So have a good night. Take care of yourselves and take care of those around you. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.